Hey there everybody, Pop on Top here, welcome back to some more Fallout 4 mods. In today's mod, we got the armor slash outfit mod currently put to my character here. This is the Modern Warfare 2 Harangi Collision outfit. Um, so this is, Harangi is an operator from Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, a Korean operator. And Harangi apparently also means tiger in Korean, so probably I'm massacring the pronunciation on that. I really tried. It was like, Google was like, it's Harangi, and I'm like, is it Harangi? I don't know. <laughs> but... Besides of how you pronounce the name, the outfit does look really cool. It's a military tactical outfit. I think this one is a particularly good outfit. Obviously, it has very bright green. There's like a lot of green going on here with this particular outfit here. But it does have a really high level of texture quality. It looks very good. Obviously, I mentioned that because I've been covering a lot of Modern Warfare 2 guns lately. The new Call of Duty game, Call of Duty games in general, have really nice looking guns. And in this case, really nice looking armor sets or operator skins in this case right we have a big old like chest plate we got magazines on there we got you know knee pads and stuff we got nice i mean i do like the green color on this i do think this does look nice um i got a little knife there on the back a little med pouch i got all my little tactical things i got an extra helmet for some reason um obviously it says beta and stuff on there because this is the outfit you got for getting i believe max level in the beta i got this outfit i played max level in the beta but it does. It has a distinct style to it. So this is on my female character too. I wanted to mention, um, even though you can't really tell, um, but it does work. It's not breaking the game by any means. Obviously, it'll look very similar on a male character because it doesn't seem to make a distinction between what type of character you use. The outfit's gonna look like what the outfit looks like, right? But it does look nice. It does come in two pieces as well. So there's the mask and then the main outfit part here. The main outfit gives you two agility and has 255 physical resistance, which is a lot. Um, but you could take the mask off and totally just rock the outfit without the mask if you want to really want to see your character's face. I know a lot of you spend a lot of time out there messing with your character's face, and so it's really important that they make that helmet headpiece type stuff separate so that way you can see your character's beautifully crafted face that took you five hours. I don't spend five hours crafting my character's face. I put the mask on, right? So once you've downloaded this mod for yourself, so you can craft it at the chemistry station. It's got its own little section here. And it doesn't require anything, so you can just craft it right off rip, or whenever, you know, after you download it. There you go, you get the mod. Let's take a look at the armor workbench, though, see if we can craft any kind of particular modifications for this. I don't imagine we're going to be able to change the colors or anything too much, but we can at least take a look to see if there's anything here. There, there, we can add ballistic weave, which is huge. That's huge. I think that's humongous. Even though the, you know, like the physical resistance of 255 off rip is a lot. You get that extra energy resistance and then even more physical resistance off of putting Ballistic Weave off of there. You get the two agility. The two agility is nice. Um, that's one of the best part about the military fatigues from the base game is that you get the agility off of that. Agility is a huge stat. Um, AP and, you know, just all that kind of stuff is a good thing. The outfit does, like I said, look very nice. The texture quality here is amazing. It's not even that big, really. It's only like a 50 megabyte mod. And for an outfit of this quality, I think we're getting high quality here, right? Like, this is it's really nice. Obviously, it's a personal preference thing. Everything is kind of a personal preference thing. But, like, oh, I don't like the green color. I hate green. Okay, man. Okay, man. I hear you, all right? You hate the color green. This one's not for you. Um, but it does look quite nice. I think I like the look of it a lot. Um, I think, you know, the fact that you craft it for essentially free, that it, you know, it doesn't seem to have any clipping issues or whatever. And it's pretty much the only armor mod you need if you like the look of it. I think I do think it looks cool. It looks very military and tactical. And I know a lot of you are into that kind of thing, right? Some of the most popular videos are stuff that looks, you know, like military fatigue type armor mods and stuff like realistic military weapons and stuff. So, obviously, you would never wear bright green in the real military setting and stuff. But it does look cool. I think it has a nice pop to it. I think it does just look like it does from Call of Duty. If you play Call of Duty, you know what this looks like. And it looks, you know, faithfully represented here. If you don't, it's still a nice little armor mod. Got the nice bright green colors, which is very followed of it. But, you know, follow color is green. Radiation, right? And you can take the helmet off if you want to. I, I mean, imagine if you wear the helmet without the armor, but that's kind of like a weird... I mean, I, let's let's fucking see, I guess, right? So, I'm taking the outfit off. And then we'll do this. I mean, you can. It look it does it does indeed look funky. Like, your neck doesn't... The, the neck seam is not correct on that. But, I mean, you technically could. More There's more of the mask as a separate piece, so you could take the mask off if you want to see your character's face. But I like this. I, li I do like that look at this outfit. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section down below. If you guys want to check out this mod for yourselves, make sure to check out the top link in the description. 
There'll be a link there to the Bethesda.net page in the Nexus mod page, wherever you can download this mod for yourselves. If you guys have enjoyed the video, like the video. If you guys are new to my channel and you haven't yet already, make sure to subscribe. That way you can check out more videos from me. And pretty much other than that, you guys have a good rest of your day, whatever it may be, and I will see you in the next episode.